Was it 16 kids? How many I people think went? we were at 17. 17, yeah. yeah. No, uh, I don't know exactly how many kids. I mean, we've talked about wanting to have a, a few kids, but I think most parents do that. They're like, let's have 10. And then they're like, one's good. Right. Yeah. And then you get twins. Yeah, and then you get twins. We would love to have twins, actually. I would love twins. Yeah. Now, twins run in Linda's family. They run in my family as well. Linda's sister has twins. So, it's I like don't know. two and one. Why don't we like do triplets? Just, one up your sister. I'd be fine with triplets, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to give up the craft room to use as a nursery, so <laughs> we're ready to that's start. That's the best kind of nursery ever, <laughs> the craft room. There's so much color and creativity. We'll have the most creative kids if that's the nursery. <laughs> our, our kids' book series, uh, Builder Brothers, it's, it's fun. I mean, that's not work. That's just fun. That's something we decided to do for all of our, our kid fans out there. And... Um, Linda and I, you know, when, when John thought we were writing the book, Linda and I kept reading it. We're reading through the different drafts as we're doing it. And we're like, okay, let's tweak this, let's tweak that, because we want to make sure that this is the kind of book we'd be proud to read to our kids. It's educational. There's some great learning points. It's a fun read, and it's an easy read, too, for kids. But at the end, the fact that we give them a task where they can get hands-on with their teacher or their parents, and they can actually build a project. Kids are tactile. They love to be hands-on. And so we're giving that to them as a part of our series. I mean, we love going out. We're all about food, too, so mm -hmm. trying new restaurants. But really, at the end of the day, if it's getting together with family and friends, we are not clubbers or partiers. We like to dance a little from time to time, but we'll bring people over to the yeah. house and we'll have our own private dance party. Yeah, we're big on game nights. Oh, yeah. We love going out, but only if it involves food Yeah. or concerts. If you open that top drawer there, you will be crushed by every game you can <laughs> think of. That's our game station. You know, we, we have an amazing opportunity uh, in, in our lives just with what we do and, and being able to be, uh, travel with our work and be in different um, parts of the world that we get to experience a lot of amazing things. Um, for us, it's not about going and, you know, we don't have to spend a fortune to go to some fancy elite place somewhere. For us, it's more about organic moments. Um, so finding a little hole in the wall for a restaurant or, you know, when we're in France, like just wandering these old cobblestone streets and we'll, we'll create amazing moments, Just that's just who we are. And, and I think too for us, spending time with family and friends, whenever we travel, I mean we brought, uh, was it 18 of our friends down to Cabo with us just recently, um, just because we, we don't get a lot of downtime, so for us to be able to have some of our family and friends with us is, means a lot. And, uh, and same here, like right now in our house, we have one, two, three, four, five friends staying in our house with us right now. Some, it's that's, it's, that's what makes it it's fun. great because we don't we wouldn't get to see them otherwise so yeah we're lucky that they can come and stay with us yeah but I would say for us like the ideal adventure for us is not fully planned out it's mm. almost like a make your own adventure some aspects we'll plan out for example we just went to Scotland last year um, for a retreat with our family uh, my, my dad's was from two Scotland. years ago is it two years ago that was already? two years ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But what we did is we looked ahead and there was an archaeological dig happening not far from where we were staying. And it was in Scotland where they found an old Roman encampment. And so we were able to go and be a part of that dig. And so we were able to find some of the, the old artifacts and things that they were uh, uncovering. And that is so cool. Like That is a that unique That was so thing. unique, yeah. Yeah, that, that you don't find. Or staying in an old castle or cathedral or... Um, I really want to stay in a haunted house. I want to go to the... What is the most haunted house in America? I want to stay there. She won't go. I'll do this. What if you take a spirit back with you? Well, I hope it's a friendly spirit. There, I mean, there's so many cool things out there. Like, I'm a, a basketball nut, so like I just got, I just did a, a tournament. It was a charity tournament supporting the Boys and Girls Club with a bunch of the old NBA greats, like amazing players like Jason Kidd and Dr. J. For me as a, as a kid, that's who I idolized growing up, and that was a lot of fun, and going to watch the NBA Summer League, stuff like that. Like, it's just little fun one-off things like that that make it exciting. And then I make him go to Disneyland. And I don't make. She would go to Disneyland every day. I uh, So I'll, you know, I'll go once or twice a year. I do love it there. It charges you up. It brings out your inner kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so vain. I watch myself to unwind. Uh, no, we, uh, <laughs> We, we have our shows that we love, you know, right now, Handmaid's Tale, um, Chernobyl, Chernobyl, Kidding. and uh, uh, Stranger Things, what else? Kidding. Kidding. Oh my gosh, Barry. Kidding is hilarious. Barry, Barry is, is phenomenal. Is Bill Hader is a genius. Uh, but aside from that too, like, 
we'll just have like one-on-one -on -one game nights. And yes, this is nerdy, but Linda and I will go like hardcore on code names so that we really learn to read each other. So that we, if we ever it's play someone else, it's all about communication. Else, it's all about communication. So that when we play other people, we'll like kick we their know our butts. signals. Yeah. And and food, we'll just lounge, just having a little bit of like some sort of a, a dessert or a snack or a bite. Well, we just sort of, sort of sit out back, and it's, it's nice and quiet. It's like serenity now, <laughs> kind of a spot. 